right, let's talk about the Kansas City Chiefs here for a little bit. Like all the other 31 NFL franchises, the Chiefs are preparing for the NFL draft. And like every other franchise, they're looking to address any need they can to improve their roster, especially by finding late round gems, potential steals. And I think there's an indicator that the Chiefs have identified a potential steal, maybe a future superstar that's quietly been sliding under the radar. And I think this gives the Chiefs a great opportunity. So to dive into why I think the Chiefs have found something special here, let's first pull up, according to CBS Sports, every player that's visited the Kansas City Chiefs as part of their top 30 visits. So we can just throw this chart up there on the screen right there for everyone to see. And as anyone can see there, it's like it's just an eclectic group of positions, right? a bunch of different positions across the board. The, th the three positions that show up the most are interior defensive linemen with three, offensive tackle with three, and wide receiver with three. Now, what's really interesting about that is that anyone who watched the Chiefs for more than five seconds last year would have assumed that they would have been really, really aggressive in terms of investing in the wide receiver, investigating it in the upcoming draft. And like, obviously, they've had some a few issues at the wide receiver position this offseason as well. And other franchises, when they have a position of need, they go really aggressive for these top 30 visits. For example, the Patriots, terrible at offensive tackle. They had seven visit. The Giants, terrible at receiver. They had four. The Eagles need a replacement for Kelsey, who retired. They had five interior offensive linemen. And the Panthers, really, really bad at wide receiver, had five visit as well. So you have teams with, again, similar-ish kind of needs like the Chiefs do at wide receiver throwing out a lot of guys, bringing a lot of guys to visit throughout this process. Why weren't the Chiefs doing that? And that leads directly into our second image here. Let's go ahead and pull this up. This is actually a tweet from back in March. This was before free agency even kicked off that the Kansas City Chiefs, according to Ryan Fowler, will host and have hosted at this point Oregon State wide receiver Anthony Gold. And here's the interesting part. This visit happened before free agency. This was very early on in the cycle. The Chiefs were one of the few teams to have a guy visit so early. And to me, this is an indicator that the Chiefs really liked Anthony Gold in terms of following him throughout his college career. And then they brought him into the fold for a visit and they just fell in love with the kid. And like, this is our guy. We found something special here. And in my mind, I think they believe they found the next Tyree Kill in Anthony Gold. Myas, I'm curious what your thoughts are on this, but first, Kansas City Chiefs fans in the comment section below. Look, I talked about the Chiefs finding a potential steal in gold. I think he has a chance to be a great player for this offense. But in the comment section, what do you think the Chiefs should do with their first pick? Obviously, gold would be a late round guy, so they have a lot of options in front of them for their first pick. Let us know in the comment section below what you think the Chiefs should do with that pick. But Myas, Give me your thoughts on the way the Chiefs have played this with Anthony Gold and the fact they may have found the potential next great superstar or at least another draft steal. Yeah, Nick, I think any time a team really starts to look into a late round guy this early into the cycle, there's got to be at least something there that they're trying to capture, they're trying to key in on. And I think, like you alluded to, they have done just that with a guy like Gold. Very fast, you know, very explosive wide receiver coming out of Oregon State. He's done a lot of great things, and I just think that if you look at the Chiefs' history, especially at the late rounds, we all know they've had a lot of great late round hits. Most notably, the last Tyreek Hill was drafted in the fifth round. Obviously, uh, you know there's guys like Lajarius Sneed drafted in the fourth round. There's guys like Isaiah Pacheco they've gotten in the seventh round. So they've been good in the last few drafts since getting the first Tyreek Hill at getting guys in the late round. They've also been good at you know, kind of evaluating the wide receiver position and looking for what they want. Most notably, we saw Rashi Rice last season. He came out smoking hot, one of the, you know, best rookie wide receivers, I'd say, in the entire class. He looked really great. And I think last year, even Sky Moore, he had some really good special teams, uh, you know, ability there as well. Probably not as contributive as you want to in a guy uh, at the wide receiver position, but there's a lot of talent there. And I think that is what we are seeing from the Chiefs is, they spot early a guy who's very talented and try to just see how they can fit into the team. I think they've spotted a guy with a lot of talent in gold. And I think potentially keying in on him and bring him to the late round would be a very great decision because, as we all know, when you're very good, like the Chiefs, and you win a lot of games and a lot of playoff games, and this year a Super Bowl, you're going to be drafting pretty late. You're going to be drafting, you know, back half of the first round. You're not going to always have your first choice at what you want. So being able to get guys late rounds like gold, I think it's going to be a really key thing for the Chiefs. And I want to hit home this Tyreek Hill comparison, right? And I know it's early, but it's so eerie how similar gold is to Hill. 
If you look at Gold's measurables, he's measured at five foot eight, 175, 180 pounds, right? Very similar size wise to size wise to Tyreek Hill. He ran a 439.40 at the combine. That's blazing speed. He had a 10 five, a 1 5 10 yard split against blazing speed, a 416 short subtle, incredible quickness, a 39 and a half inch vertical jump. So we know this kid's a great athlete right out the gate. But here's the part that really jumps out at me. This is his bottom line summary according to the athletics draft profile of Anthony Gold. This is what they said, quote, overall, Gold has a chance to carve out a role for himself in the NFL because of his speed. But further route polish is needed to help balance out his diminutive size. His punt return experience helps his chances of staying on a roster. That is literally the definition of Tyree Kill coming out of college, right? Similar dynamic, not a whole lot of production, not a lot of notoriety, right? Hey, he's a punt returner that's smallish, that's got blazing speed. It feels as if the Chiefs here are going after and trying to find the next Tyreek Hill. And it makes sense, right? Because if you look at dynasties in the NFL, it's always about pointing and counterpointing. And here's what I mean by that. The Chiefs started their dynasty, explosive vertical passing game down the field with Tyreek Hill. What do teams do? They do that two deep shell coverage. So the Chiefs have to adjust to more short passes. Now teams are recognizing the Chiefs have adjusted, going back to more, again, single high safety looks. That opens up the vertical passing game. Now go out and get your Tyree kill, right? That's what the Chiefs are doing here. And I think based on just the pure measurables and the data, it looks like they found something special in this gold kid. I think he really has a chance to be a great playmaker for the Chiefs and another steal for the Kansas City organization.